es pelo, my God. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sunday with Sandra. So today we're gonna finish the rest of our process of making tamales. We're going to be starting with embarando las hojas. So first you wanna make sure you get your corn husks and soak them and clean them, but soak them until they're nice and soft. When you're rubbing them or spreading the masa on there, you want to make sure you're spreading it on the visita side. On the visita side. <laughs> on the soft side. Oh. It's really hard, I think, for me to do a um, to spread the masa on the on the leaf. I think it takes practice, but I'll try. Preparada masa is the same masa for the for everything except the sweet. Mm -hmm. For the pork, for the chile rajas con queso, for the Mm -hmm. Here's the meat. Right now she's putting a little bit of the chili into the masa because it tastes, it just gives it some more flavor. Starting to fill the tamales with the pork. So right now I'm going to pick hojas and I'm finding the smooth side and then I'm going to put them for my mom to dry face down. Smooth side down. So these little pieces are also used to tie them, some of them, so these pieces you also want to keep. So check out how it's being spread, but it's pretty hard because it's so sticky. No, no, no. Como que no. guys can piece two together if they're small. Hey, baby. Recording. So this is the meat after it's been mixed with the chili. You can see she shredded the pork. And that's what's going into the corn husks. There it is coated. Let me try and make one. <laughs> Where do you go? I don't see you. Yeah, it's here with the fork, though. Yeah. Okay. Where's the green team? No, I know where it is, but I can't tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
so we went ahead and finished the pork ones. We're gonna, the cheese is all shredded for the rajas con queso ones. Should I take out the rajas? Yeah. Let me go ahead and take out the rajas. Okay, so this is pasilla chili. It's the same chili you use for chilenos. And it's about five chilies. Uh, you want to roast them, peel them, and chop them up. So same for the rajas con queso. We have I'm a moving. an hoja. Then I'm gonna put the cheese. Hmm. And the chile. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Sometimes you can use the what are those chilies called? I know you. The mean. vinegar chilies. Why? What are they called? Oh, this? Yeah. We're going to use those. Oh, you are? For what? Blanca. Oh, so I could still have some of those. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, so you can also use the pickled jalapeno, and it's so good to just put like a carrot in it with cheese. Yum. Okay, let's make a sordo. Mijo, do you like tamales? Oh, tomorrow you're gonna have them from grandma. Pineapple. What is this like a box of raisins? Yeah, those cajitas chiquitas, sí. Sweetened coconut flakes. like a sordo, just a, a dollop. Vegetarian masa for vegetarian tamales. So this is masa sin preparar, so just corn, water, and lime. We're gonna add a all vegetable shortening. Come on, sal. Baking powder. Vegetable shortening, baking powder. Y luego la probamos, esta salita. Vamos a poner un vaso de agua. No. What? 
Or what? Se pone un vaso de agua. Oh, and when it floats? Yeah, when it floats, it's ready. Una de mis casas, Chuy y yo no la acabamos ahí. Nunca flotó. ¿Ya que es el chile? Si quieres. That seems like a lot, no, mamá? Sí, fíjate. There's all kinds of mass on that pan, you know. So same exact process, but this is just the vegetarian masa. <laughs> guys so this is the part that i wasn't here to witness but you basically steam them in a double boiler yeah we put water here when it's boiling when the water is boiling then we put the tamales on top and cook them for an hour and a half in here do you put like a plate upside down and that way you could stand them up mm -hmm. and then leaves on top mm -hmm. right hey guys it's time for a taste test so i set up my plate first we have two tamales of queso raja con queso one sordo probably some beans i put a little bit of hot like some red salsa on top with some cotija cheese so let's go ahead and do a taste test yeah you guys can try it it's good really hot yeah i know it tastes like caramel it tastes the same mm -mm -mm. In a minute, baby, after I eat, okay? Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and close out this video so I can enjoy my Christmas Eve with my family. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video, if you want to see more cooking videos or more recipes, uh, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching, everybody that subscribed. I really appreciate it. From my family to yours, from the It's Sunday with Sandra family to yours, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and we'll see you guys on the next one.